o som. <risos> Testando, som ativado. Aí, já está a live lá no Facebook, lá, galera. Let me open here. Let me double check. Soon they're going to start over there. Then you guys can start doing the share. Yes, we're right there. Okay. Okay, guys. How's everybody doing over there? I have a pleasure to have all these amazing quotes with us today. Um, America, bring all these friends, you know, And I hope you guys enjoy. And we're going to go with some questions, you know. But first of all, I want to make sure everybody introduce themselves. Um, and if you guys have any questions, you can go in the Facebook, personal, text message, whatever you guys feel more comfortable. If you guys don't want to write down here, my phone is on too. And you guys can text me. And we're here to help everybody who's home right now. And we have just... Um, change life for everybody. And I know the schedule, it's been crazy. And we try to do the best we can, bring more information. I know it's a three different condition codes. Probably they're gonna have a different understood the situation, but the idea is bringing more information for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy. Os, who is star? Vivi. Everton, oh. Everton, go first. Everton, introduce yourself for us. Uh, tell a little bit about your life and what you do. Okay. So, hey, guys. My name is Everton Oliveira. I'm from Brazil, from Curitiba. Uh, I'm here in the U.S. since 2012, uh, actually. Um, I came here uh, to help a friend. He's here actually, Stefan Diaz. Um, and then uh, I started to work with some professional athletes in American Top Team. Uh, the first one was Antonio Silva, Bigfoot. And I'm still at the American Top Team as a strength conditioning coach until now. I'm also work with race car drivers, professional race car, car drivers and uh, personal trainer. Uh, training people that just want to, to get fit and to be active. Hello, guys. My name is Stefan Diaz. I'm a friend of uh, Anna Everton since like 80 years old. So, <laughs> long time friends. Forever. It's a pleasure to be here with uh, Marcio Pimentel, a great coach as well. And uh, Anna from 84 Lauderdale. I know Anna since 2008 when, uh, when I joined American Top Team. We've been working together and friends since then. So it's a pleasure to be here. We're going to talk. Um, we're going to do this Q&A for all of you guys that are home. You know the situation. It's hard. But we're going to try our best at least to keep us busy, keep us working. And then we're going to share some knowledge that we have with you guys as well. You know, just for degree, uh, I have a exercise science bachelor's, a master's degree and a PhD in Russia. And then since 2015, I'm the um, a professor at Kaiser University in the Orlando campus. Hi guys. Coach Pimentel. Hello guys, I'm Marcio Pimentel, I'm from Brazil. I'm living here in Orlando from last two years. Uh, my knowledge in Brazil, and I'm working from some uh, of athletes from judo, jiu-jitsu, MMA, and I'm black belt in judo for a long time, from 33 years, and I'm black belt in jiu-jitsu under former Murilo Bustamante, the first Brazilian UFC champion. It's a pleasure to hear from everybody. Yes. Okay, yeah, it's a lot. Né? It's amazing how we can have like Olympic coach, a professional who train a lot of professional fighters, you know, then that's, that's the idea, you know, and imagine if they can help out this level for athletes, they can help you home right now, especially the person who is being sitting and then think, okay, how long this is going to pass and watch out this news, you know, uh, I think 
my idea when put everybody together is to touch in base, no just for the professional fighter or the small athlete or the Olympic athlete who is home right now and very dismotivation and think, okay, I'm sitting, I'm not doing nothing. Uh, the idea is to tell them, please keep your workouts, keep training, keep doing all the workouts because this is going to pass. You know, it's been super hard for everybody. You know, uh, Coach Pimentel is going to explain. He's been teaching by online classes. Stephanie G is the same, Everton too, you know. And, of course, we have opinions about that. What's the way we can be trained home and don't get injured? You know, I think that's super important point to bring. Uh, how we can continue getting shape and don't feel tired when does everything pass, you know, and how's the way we can eat healthy and how this is important for everybody home, okay? Um, I want to go over a few guys, and I think the first thing it is, I want you guys' opinion very fast. What do you guys think about all this exercise home, you know, and what's you guys thinking about that and what's the best way to do by Zoom if somebody else look into you and do it or if it's just put my youtube channel pick whatever who is the video is more wash and go there and do the exercise you know i think it's very important to guys tell us about this what do you guys recommend to do right now okay so i will give my my two percent of my my opinion here so in my point uh, of view I believe is the most important thing right now is not think about uh, lose weight or uh, increase your performance or uh, get strong. Uh, for me, be active is trying to keep yourself uh, healthy, not only physically, but mentally too. So I'm trying to, to help the people that I used to work uh, using the technology that I have. So uh, video calls uh, using the different apps. So I'm trying to keep them exercising. And for me, if you think about the routine, if you change your routine, every, everybody is now passing through a different moment. So we need to try to respect our routine. So I'm trying to, to keep this with the athletes that I work with my clients and it's been uh, pretty satisfied the way that we, we've been doing. Uh, today I was teaching to somebody from Italy, so he's in Italy, and for some group in Brazil using, using the app. So uh, like I said, the most important thing right now is trying to- And then to, to touch about this, how's the fighters feel? They feel like tired. They feel like they don't have energy or two. I know some of my clients asking, telling me, oh, I just don't feel get up in the sofa. And the fights go to the gym and the gym's empty or maybe doing by the video feel. How's the feedback you've been getting from them? So Anna, like the, the pros that I'm working, uh, they, they are training as normal with different changes, but we are keeping, we are, we are keep uh, pushing them because uh, they need to be ready for the next uh, few months to compete. Like I have, uh, I have been working with almost 20 guys in a different uh, schedule uh, with the small groups. And I need to, to use the different strategies to keep them active because they will fight as soon as the, the situation get, uh, get clean. Like as soon as the situation uh, start to get back to, to the, normal, uh, situ the normal routine, the shows will start to get back. So they need to be ready. Uh, example, the UFC, uh, they said that they supposed to, to, to realize the shows um, in next week, right? So last week, we knew that we have uh, a lot of fighters competing. So I, I can't let them down and I can't let them stop to training. I need to push them as hard as I can because they need to be ready to compete in a, in a, in a high level. So it's, it's a different situation to the normal people. 
but uh, uh, we need to keep them motivated because with the whole situation, it's kind of like, we don't know what's gonna, gonna happen. Right now, the UFC canceled, uh, not canceled, they, they post, postponed the, the shows. So it's, it's disappointed for some fighters because they want to, to get back to the competition uh, point, but uh, this is we need to deal with and that's it. And Everton, uh, Stephanie, uh, and for you, how you feel about, I know you train some people from home too, and also you're doing your class with your student within college. How this has been working for you and you know, how you think that's important and what's your opinion about uh, if people watching the video YouTube or do classes by YouTube? In, you know, watching the YouTube or go to Zoom, you know? Yeah, yes, this is a challenge. Uh, and uh, I agree with everything because if you are an athlete and you need to keep busy and keep training is one thing. But now if you just like homes uh, trying to stay healthy, so the best for you, it's kind of like look for, for good advice. So one, one good way to find that would be kind of like trying to get like people like, like us follow like American Top Team for a lot of day. Try to follow people that are on the market for a little time so they know what they're doing. Because right now, if you open your Instagram, you're going to see like 1 million lives. And then there's a lot of people doing exercise. You don't know exactly what they're doing. And then you might get hurt. So I don't want you to get hurt trying to follow people that you don't know. So the best is get advice from coaches, coaches with experience. That's why we're trying to put this together with Pimentel, Everton. And like uh, American Top Team for a lot of this doing. So that's a good Way. And then also for me, it was a good kind of like a little bit easier because since 2015, I've been doing ground classes in school and online. So I've been used online classes since 2015. So we transit university transit completely to online. So I'm, I'm working 40 hours from home. So it's like wake up early. The only good thing I don't need to drive. So I just home, you know, take my coffee, breakfast and stay there. So it was kind of like a, a different, but it, this is my third week already, end of the third week. So I'm going to the fourth week doing this online. But um, we're here, you know, so you can follow follow us, follow our, our Instagram pages also for advice. And I see Ennis putting a lot of uh, classes in the Zoom format. And then the Zoom is a little bit better, I think, in my idea, because you have the engagement so you can talk to the people. Because when you just go, for example, like an Instagram, you watch somebody, he's putting like a, a random information. So anybody could, could take that. And then maybe you have uh, high blood pressure. Maybe you're too old. Maybe you're too weak. Maybe you're not as flexible. And then you get hurt. So that's the, the problem that I see. And then just to let you guys know, I'm going to help translate him from Pimentel. So he can speak in, in Portuguese and then I'll, I'll do that, okay? And then yeah. we'll go in the order. Everton, me, Pimentel. Is that okay? And, and talking at this point is super important. Coach Pimentel, we talked yesterday and then he told me, and he remember, he's young, but he's old school. Then I know how it's been hard for him too to challenge himself and start doing classes online. Now, then he told me he's doing a class and I think it's amazing and I really think it's make a difference when you do your workout in your own, watch somebody else it is, because the coach can see you doing, and then correct your exercise. I think Stephanie bring the points, you know, then coach Pimentel, if you guys don't know, he's, uh, uh, he, he's explained, he's already told you guys, but for the new people who just show up, he trained at Olympic uh, judo in Brazil. And also he's a coach right now in America top team for Jaso in Orlando. Né? Then he's been teaching a lot of kids on and Zoom. Then he can explain to us how you're feeling, how it's important to people to have somebody else watching you, you know? O microfone, o microfone. Teu microfone, Pimentel. Ativei, ativei. É, eu concordo com o que vocês falaram, Everton e Stefan. É um desafio novo, é uma realidade nova. E, mas eu acho que, como a gente estava falando ontem em outras conversas, é, eu tenho participado até de uns lives com, que o Everton tem participado, tenho entrado para ver, você também. Essa nova realidade, cara, é, eu tenho preferido as aulas de Zoom. Por quê? Porque 
é uma distância que a gente pode diminuir porque a gente consegue ver a pessoa, mostrar a execução de movimento, de exercício, e consegue ter o um mínimo de controle possível na qualidade do movimento daquele aluno. Enquanto que no Instagram e no Facebook, não. So, uh, Pimentel was telling that he, he agrees with me and Everton to the point that we, we need to adapt, we need to change. And then also it's, it's a challenge, it's a challenge for everybody doing this transition. And then one thing he likes the best is the Zoom because the Zoom, you can see each other. And then you can at least try to hear, let's say a minimum quality of the technique. Because when you just go on a live like a Instagram and he has been watching all the lives, he, he jumps in everyone's lives, my lives. So he's been watching everybody's lives. But you cannot talk to, and then cannot correct. So let's say you teach someone a technique. If you teach through Instagram, you cannot see the, the way they're doing. And then in their mind, they might do it right, but they're wrong. So Pimentel likes the Zoom because he can see and have a feedback. Yeah, that's it. Anna? Anna? Okay, guys, let's continue this. Then I think the first question, everybody's agree. Né? I think everybody, Everton doing with the athletes by Zoom, uh, coach um, is been doing for his, his classes for college co with it. somebody else watch them then please guys just make sure so I, I, I see some people just come in right now make sure when you decide to do the workout and you guys have somebody else in with you and then correcting you and wash out these things this people's doing you know what I mean um, the another question we have here let's see how you guys gonna do it uh, uh, it's about the some people asking me this is super funny they 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 were about to cut weight with this situation okay i first week i'm super stressed then i started eating 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 then the second week okay we're gonna be home one more week two more weeks and now they decide to train you know and why do you guys recommend about this cut weight in this situation when they have a lot of emotion and things involved and you know, and if you guys can explain to us a little bit, what do you recommend about the food? Because I know you guys, three ones understand about how it's important. That's, that's the idea. Somebody else decide to cut weight, that's the time, or even lose what they put, you know? I just wanna hear from you guys. So, onus, in my point, I don't think it's a good idea for people to try to, to cut weight right now. I believe people need to, to be healthy and trying to, to keep uh, the routine, trying to eat healthy. But besides that, start to think about lose weight. I don't think it's a good idea. I, I believe we need to, to stop a little bit for a while and enjoy ourselves a little bit, trying to, to work in different ways. And it's, it, it's crazy because with the, the internet, a lot of people comes with uh, miracle diets, uh, the amazing workouts uh, here and there, like 20 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. It's crazy how people trying to sell uh, things in, the, in this time, but Honest, uh, I'm against to people start to, to go crazy and trying to do crazy things right now because it, it needs to, to, to be healthy and needs to think about the, the healthy lifestyle and not trying to be in the best shape ever. If you didn't start before, it's not time to, to start right now. If, you're okay, if, if you do exercise, if you do work yourself, okay, you can try to, to, to follow different strategies. But if you, if you don't exercise, if you don't take care of your, your, your food, your diet, it's not time to start. This is my opinion. Yes, uh, the question is, now that we're in quarantine, you wanna start exercising and doing the diet. Why did you start before, you know? So this is like stuff for you to think about it. So if you're in the house, you're thinking that now, you need to think that before. All right, but then if you pass the situation, then definitely you gotta do this. We don't just, oh yeah, I'm quarantined, now I'm gonna exercise every day. And then, and then we resume our activities. 
and then you go lazy again and eat whatever you want to know. No, that's not the point. And then one thing very important that Everton said, if you didn't do that before, now there is a chance for you to get sick of it because your immune system could go down. So for example, you didn't exercise for years. Now you're locking in your house and then you start exercise every single day. You follow somebody on, the, on the YouTube and then you start doing the exercise. In the beginning, it's going to be kind of like a shock in your body. And then that shock could make your, your immune system to go down for a little bit. And then something happened. I don't know. You go to the grocery stores. You go to the uh, gas station. And then you might have having corona. Now you really get sick because your immune system is down. So I'm not saying that you should not because I always advocate we do this all our lives. So, but you should do this as your lifestyle. This is your lifestyle. Exercise for life. What do you do? You stay home, try to maintain your weight. If you maintain your weight, is already good. You don't want to gain weight, of course, but maintain. But that's not really the point for you to drop. So that's my, my opinion. What? É, eu acho que não é hora, é uma hora boa para quem nunca fez exercício começar a fazer, realmente. Mas é, não concordo em fazer dieta, não. Acho que você tem que ter dieta, é, você tem que ter uma alimentação saudável, você tem que ter uma vida saudável, comendo bem, praticando exercício, mas não é a hora da pessoa fazer, ah, vou perder, vou aproveitar que estou em casa para perder peso. Você está mudando uma rotina que você não tem nem capacidade para isso ainda. Eu acho que você tem que ter uma vida saudável, independente da quarentena ou não. É fazer exercício com regularidade, uma boa alimentação com regularidade, para se manter saudável. E o que a gente tem visto nesse caso, de, até dessa Covid aí, é que os mais saudáveis estão tendo melhor resposta do que não. Então, é isso. Então, so, so, em Pimentel's opinião, se você you didn't start so that's not the time for you to go into a diet so don't go in a diet right now but of course think about exercise think about changing your lifestyle you should eat healthy you should exercise you should do this as your normal routine that's your 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 lifestyle change that change a little by little don't don't go don't go too much and then um because if you know you could end up getting sick And then also, um, o que você falou no finalzinho? Só que eu não entendi o finalzinho, desculpa. Que não é a hora de mudar, é exatamente é, o que você é. falou. E, e que, no caso, os atletas, não tem nenhum evento agora, não tem, é. nem mesmo os atletas têm o um sentido, ah, vou fazer dieta, vou perder peso. O atleta é. que compete precisa pesar. O, é. o praticante de jiu-jitsu, nossa arte, né? Ah, vou perder peso. Não tem nenhum sentido agora, você vai baixar a sua imunidade, porque perda de peso... Dependendo Nossa. da forma que você não perder da forma correta, você baixa a sua imunidade no, com um vírus forte vindo. Não faz sentido. Agora é uma boa alimentação. So, right now, the best is to do a healthy uh, meal plan. So, try to eat healthy foods. Try to get like a, like, a, like a balanced meal. But don't try to go down. Even if in your athlete. So, like the guys, we, we have a lot of athletes watching because they train. In ATT for all that, because all the tournaments right now they're shut down. You don't have a competition, so there's no point for you to drop weight. Every time you drop weight, remember your body feels that. So we don't want to do that in this moment. Microfonian. Unbelievable. The first two questions, the three agree. Then we continue following because usually. People know we go to the doctor and we go three doctors to see different opinions. Sometimes we train and three different trainers say different things, but I love it. They want to know the questions before, but I say no. You know why? Because I want to make sure they, they agree with the same thing, you know? Uh, but let's continue. Now we're going to move a little bit more for, uh, we say to the pros, you know? They're not uh, professional fighters. They're not Olympic yet, but... Uh, They amateur fighters, and we have a couple ones. They are just asking questions for me about that. And of course, they don't have what's the uh, uh, judo Olympic can have right now. They don't have what's the the people's you train right now. Now we see uh, Argentina. We know the gente boa train with you, and he have all the you know the support. You know, and we a small school. We do the support we can. We do the Zoom classes and everything. But I want to hear from the three guys, what do you guys recommend for the guy 
who is a mature fighter. And I know a lot of things is canceled, but we know it's everything's gonna go back. You know, how long? We don't know. But we know, and special this career is very small and fast, you know, people cannot stop train. And then for the guy who's amateur, what do you guys recommend? Like I want you guys to go straight, two hours condition or drills or, you know, how many, way to lead, no way to lead. You know, I want you guys tell me what you guys recommend. Let's go, Vivi. Não esquece de soltar o microfone. So, uh, first of all, it's hard to go straight to the point because I don't know what this athlete has about uh, infrastructure, right? Like if he has dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells. So it's hard to go straight. My, my advice, uh, would be be active, trying to get uh, in contact with your uh, professional coach. So if if they train an American top team for Lauderdale, they need to get contact uh, with the the head coach with the strength conditioning there and trying to 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 create the schedule and try to follow this routine. Right? If if the person don't have anything we know uh, he can use different strategies to work uh, around himself physically. So he can use body weight exercise, he can use plyometrics exercise, but it is hard to go straight to the point and, and talk about uh, in a specific program. If they have uh, weight, free weights in, in, at home, if they have like kettlebells, like I said, bands, resistance. So we have so many different strategies we can uh, build as a program and keep them at least uh, maintain their, their performance. But like I said, it's, it's kind of a little bit hard to, to talk about in, in a specific like do this and do that because we don't know what they have at home. But like I said, they can use body weight, they can use band resistance, they can... Uh, like, but, Vivi, sorry, let's, let's try to be more specific. You, you recommend them do condition every single day and drills every day? Or, okay, now just do condition, you know, with whatever they have three times a week or continue, say, before they train three times a week, two times a week, why do you recommend for them? Why do you think two times a week for the condition or three times a week? Oh, okay, okay, I understand. So... I can, I, I, I can recommend anything in between two or four times a week uh, around the strength conditioning and then trying to build a schedule with the martial arts drills and something like that. Uh, when we talk about two, three or four times, you, uh, the guy can mix it up in between uh, strength training and cardio training. He can use some intervals as, a, as an option. So we have... a we have a lot of uh, different strategies to, to go over. So like I said, it's kind of a little bit uh, in general, but I would, I would say something between two to four. four. But now, now, now you got in my answer, two to four. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Go Stephanie. Yeah, uh, kind of like, I am the idea like, I, I try to exercise every day, even if it's a little bit. So that's, that's just me. Um, Right now, lucky me that my house has a good backyard. So I go out there and then I have the dog and then I bring the kids and then we're just trying to go crazy. So we do stuff every day. I boil like, like a routine that one day I try to mix a little bit more strength and conditioning. So strength training. So I use several elastic bands that I have. The only thing that I had left because by the time I realized I went to buy dumbbells and etc and it was all like sold out so i couldn't have it and i mix another day more kind of cardio activity kind of like a body weight running in place and then and then jump rope stuff like that so mix one day more resistance training one day more cardio that's going to be enough for you to maintain activity if you already 
train if you already like exercise every day. And for the drills and for the drills part, I think it's important if you're an athlete, especially athlete, especially if you're trying to compete and keep competing, that you do that every day. So make sure if they have the class available, drill. I saw, I think Pimentel put a bunch of uh, drills to do home. Right, Pimentel, like I saw you doing some drills. Yeah, he's going to talk. I'll, I'll ask him again. And uh, so there's a bunch of drills that you can do for, for at least to maintain your technique. So try to maintain your technique this time. It's going to be hard to learn new stuff, advanced stuff, but at least try to maintain. So try to exercise at least uh, every day, one hour every day. If you have the time in the morning, try to keep the routine. If you're an athlete, so keep the routine. In the morning, do a little bit of drill, specific, always in the morning. And then you go for strength and conditioning in the afternoon. Passar para você, Pimentel. Oh, eu... Opa. Vamos lá. Cara, eu, a, a, a estratégia que eu teria agora, meu, se fossem meus atletas, atletas que eu estivesse treinando, era fazer base, voltar para uma base, um trabalho de base com ele. De, é, se eles tiverem uma estrutura de de material em casa, eles podem até fazer, ter querobel, ter é, peso, ter elástico. Se não, exercícios funcionais com o peso do próprio corpo e manter o planejamento. Ah, o cara pode fazer no, no dame ou no, no saco de pancada, treino técnico e exercício físico com, a, com o peso do próprio corpo. Mas fazer um trabalho de manutenção para que quando passar essa, essa fase ruim, ele não começar a destacar zero. Ele já vai ter uma base formada. Essa seria a minha sugestão. So, the, the Pimentel's idea is uh, if you're an athlete and then you're right now in this situation, you try to maintain. You should maintain your level of training. So, what do you do? You could do uh, drills. You could do drills with dummy. You could do, if you have a bag, heavy bag. So, so keep working in a heavy bag. If you have uh, equipment like uh, dumbbells, kettlebells, some some um, resistance training equipment trying to maintain so i'll be like he, his idea to keep like a base so keep the base training so as soon as we clear the situation you don't feel as much and then you can go back to your normal routine as i mean this no i think he, i think it, 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 no i got it now i think that's make it make it you know sense and i think that's a very nice idea to Continue with that, with that, with the pro athletes that they have. Good? Okay. Continue with this, the pro, you guys um, train and, and athletes and, you know, regular people who has been home right now and watch. Um, we have a, a, a question about it. What are you guys' opinion? What are you guys thinking? You know, um, because have a kind of like, you know, uh, these sports grow so fast, MMA, uh, grow so fast, you know, and it's different than, you know, Pimentel training a lot of people who is all up and everything. And then sometimes they don't know uh, what's the way to, to find a nice gym to train, you know, a profession people who train, you know, a profession show to do it, you know, and I know you guys, a lot of you guys know and have uh, experience about that, you know, and what do you guys recommend for them who they want to be a fight, you know, sometimes they're younger and they, what do you guys recommend? What's, let's put like a three steps they have to do it to be a good level with MMA fighter. Got it, like three steps to, they can be a level to be a profession fighter. You, if you, you can even can ask consideration MMA it can be, you know, what's the, okay, what's the, I wake up, I want to do it. I want to be MMA. You know, what's the three steps? What's the number one they have to do it? Vivi. O teu microfone, Vivi. Everton. Hi. So, yeah. Again, like 
it, it's hard to just mention just three steps. It, it's very complicated. But the first step for me, look for some uh, professional uh, gym, so professional team. They need to be to be around professional, uh, very good professionals first. That's the first po point. So if you want to train jujitsu, you need to look for some black belt who has a very good re resume, uh, very good experience with 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 training people, right? Uh, not only jujitsu. If if you want to go to the MMA, you need to look to to the striking point, to the wrestling point. Uh, and then also to the strength conditioning point. Uh, the second step is follow your dreams. Work hard in yourself every single day. If you don't do it, nothing gonna happen. So people sometimes need to be a little bit more self-responsible because they 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 trying to point somebody else with their failure. And onus, you need to to wake up in the morning and I will do it no matter what. I will do it. I will do my best every single day. So this is my second point. You need to work hard in yourself. You need to build yourself as best as you can. And the third point, which I think is, is the most complicated point, is trying to be uh, well connect with a really good network. Because if you have talent, if your team uh, look for you and say like, okay, you have future, you need to 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 be ready to to start from some point. So you need to, to, to have uh, the connection to, to start. You need to go to, to some small show and then start to compete and compete uh, around your, your area and jujitsu and wrestling and, and uh, amateur competitions. Uh, this is my, my point. It's, it's not simple to, to create a rule and say like, follow this and you're gonna be a, a New York City uh, champion. But, you need to, to, to be committed with yourself. If you, if you don't work hard in yourself, this is a little bit complicated to, to get there. One thing Anna, I think- Oh, Stephanie, because we have a couple of questions here in the Facebook, but I make sure, guys, stay on with us. I will go over. We're just yeah, gonna finish yeah, it. Then I will, I will, don't go anywhere. It's Friday. Be here. Stay, here. stay home, you should stay Wait. home. Exactly. Okay. Stay I will home anyway. For you guys, a couple of minutes. All right. All right. So here, first thing, get a good gym. If you don't have a good gym, most likely it's gonna be very hard for you to succeed. We recommend ATT. You know, ATT for a lot of days. If you're here, that's why we're here for you. And are doing amazing. So, seems like. Our life, me and Everett, we train together our life, you know, all, all life together. We always have good masters. If you don't have a good master, most likely you're not going to learn enough. You're not going to learn good. So find somebody that's legit, somebody that has credentials. That's the first step for me. Second step, you got you to gotta be dedicated. You got to work hard, really hard. I, I was watching uh, Everton's live with Nathan, Nathan, from uh, PFL two times champion, double champion from $2 million. And he said something very nice. He said he started young and then he once he, he wanted to start training, he didn't have the money to pay for the gym. So he started finding a little job to wash cars with 13 years old to pay the, the gym membership. So just for him to, to start training. So, and then he started training and he said that there's a lot of guys that were more skilled than him, more talented than him. And then what happened to those guys? Those guys stopped because those guys quit. So he moved to America. He was working hard. He was working the brick construction and still training twice. So imagine, you know, you the, going to the high level, you don't know for sure. So he said he was very, very, having a very hard time training at American Dog Team, but working in the morning. Yeah, working the construction, training twice a day, no perspective. And then what happened? He got in the PFL won $2 million in a row. So dedication. So that's, that's kind of like uh, the link there. So you got to, you got to start in a good gym, work really hard and then try different stuff. So you gotta, you gotta keep my, my, my idea is like this. Even when I moved to America, 2008, I have a hard time 
one day we can do a live just for that line. <laughs> so I had a partner. I don't, I'm not going to say his name. He was in the UFC, very famous, number two in the world. The guy never want to work. The guy quit on us, and then we start like putting money. The gym was going down. And then one of my other partners, that's also my good friend, adios amigo, I'm going back to Brazil. And then I stay, you know, so I say, I'm going to stay in this place. I'm not going to fail. If I fail, but, but at least I'm going to give all my suffer, all my sweat. And then I'm going to try to make it. And then 12 plus years later, I'm still here, you know, doing good finally. And then with my daughters that were born here, so family. So you got to keep pushing, you know. It's not going to come from one day to another, you know. Maybe take like 10 years, sometimes more than 10 years. But you got to be persistent. So keep persistent and, and keep pushing. Can you tell? Cara, o que eu vejo? O primeiro ponto é que quem procura hoje o MMA procura pro, pelo dinheiro, no modo geral, para ter uma condição financeira melhor. Esse Mas é o primeiro ponto. Mas você só em MMA, tá? A pergunta é para você. But I love it. He worked with the truth. Let's translation, Coach Everton. He <laughs> worked with some truth. Let's go over. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So he, he, he said that the, the, if you're looking for MMA, the majority of the guys they're looking for MMA right now, they're looking for money. Ou seja, mas esse cara para lutar em MMA, ele vai começar ganhando zero. Para ele chegar nesse topo, então é uma coisa que está associada. Ele sabe que não vai ganhar nada, mas ele está com a cabeça preparada para sofrimento, para tudo que ele precisa passar para chegar a ganhar alguma coisa. So he needs to have this mind. So the guy that is, is on this for the money, he needs to realize and be ready because in the beginning of his career, he's not going to make any money. He's going to make zero money. So it's going to be very hard. Is this guy ready? Have the men mentality to keep pushing until he gets there? A segunda coisa é o cara tem que ter uma excelente academia, onde tem um excelente profissionais e um time formado. Não adianta o cara assim, ah, eu gosto de Muay Thai, vou procurar uma academia de Muay Thai para ser lutador de MMA. Ou uma academia de Jiu-Jitsu. Ele precisa de tudo. Hoje o MMA é muito completo. Então ele tem que ter uma academia que tenha toda uma estrutura para ele. Luta de strike, luta agarrada, luta take downs. Se possível, um preparador, ter, ter um preparador físico, se possível, ter psicológico, inclusive um nutricionista. Você tem toda uma comissão técnica. So, if you want to do it, you gotta, you gotta find a nice gym. You need to find a structure. You need to have a structure that will help you to achieve your goal. So you need to have like specialized people, coaches, coaches that know what they're doing. Then you need to find um, eventually a place that will, will help you to get to a nutritionist, to get a strength and conditioning, to have a separate individual coach for all the modalities that you're gonna exercise. E a terceira é treinar duro, trabalhar duro, batalhar duro. O, o, meu, o meu professor que eu tive de jiu-jitsu, que eu tive o prazer de ser treinador dele também, ele sempre falou, cara, o mais fácil no MMA é bater. O difícil é saber apanhar. E você tem que saber que ali não é briga, que você vai apanhar também. Então, você tem que treinar duro, sabendo que você vai apanhar muito para poder bater. Então, é treinar duro. E uma outra coisa é que você tem que trabalhar muito, muito difícil. Especially if you're going on MMA, MMA, it's a sport that you, his master used to tell him and then eventually he had a chance to, to coach him for strength and conditioning. And the guy said, you got to be ready to get beat. So if you're not ready to get beat, you're not going to succeed because this is a tough sport. So most likely you're going to get beat before you beat someone because just to beat someone is easy, but get beaten, it's, it's a hard Hard job. Everton, you wanna you wanna add something? Philippe. Yeah, like there is no elevator to success. You need to take the stairs step by step. So some people are ready to do it, some people not. That's why uh, I like the impossible things because possible things anyone can do it. Uh, I just want to add, uh, of course, I don't, I'm not a condition coach, I don't know nothing, but I, I work here closely for 12 years with a lot of MMA fighters, and I think the MMA fighters, is, it's like includes with all the martial arts, 
And something that I really learned in my life, it's with everything, guys. And I think that's the best we can talk. You know, if you can see each one opinion in the end of time, everybody makes something, discipline. If you, have, if you don't have discipline and consistent what you do, you're going to start a thousand things in your life and you're not going to finish anything. And what I've been watching for these guys, and it's, I watch an MMA and I, I have a son who really like it, the jiu-jitsu and kind of the same style. And people just see sometimes the good things, you know, then come, wow, he got a trophy. Wow, he have followers. And nobody see it. And the hard part about this. And then the first problem they have, they quit. And I'm just telling something for you guys. Whatever, who, if you will, I can see we have 135 people right now with us. And I'm just telling you, if you're here now, you are special already because you're not watching Netflix and you're working harder for something. That's already make your life change, you know, because each of these guys here, I know them person. And the reason they are Susan in their life, because they work hard. And man, don't come to the store from me because you just win something if you deserve, if you work for. And I know how many times Everton driving back and forth because he lived far for training the guys. I know how many times it's Stephanie reading books and learning and learning and learning and learning. And Coach Pimentel, man, he moved all the way from Brazil. He's already, man, everybody knows Pimentel in Brazil. And come to start in America with, like, nobody knows him here. And he started work hard every single day and teaching and teaching and teaching. And then I think that's the mix with everybody I told you right now. If you want something in your life, make happen. Nobody can do for you. And I know we have amazing quotes, but, and I hear a lot of with, because I'm there with a lot of professional fighters. And if they lose, oh, my coach don't train me good. And if I win, my coach is amazing. And I'm sorry. It's in the end of the day, it's in you. And if you're doing like a judo, a jiu-jitsu, it's individual sports. And, but in the end of the day, you win with everybody work together, with everybody think the same thing. Then I think that's my end. And I really like the idea that you guys think the same situation, but work hard and discipline for me, it's everything, you know? Um, Stephanie, if you can help, I have a question for uh, Jesse and I sent to you prize. If you can read the question for me, that's gonna be great. No problem, we'll do the same. So I'll read Everton try first, then me and then Pimentel. So the question is, should we push ourselves in our workouts? I have heard that going to exhaustion every workout can make us vulnerable to the virus, but maintaining a steady 75% through the workouts can build it up. I would like to know the expert opinions of these great coaches. So thank you for the question. I can see the virus, if you push a lot, you can die or no? Yeah, yeah, understood. Don't push as hard as you can. That's my opinion. Yeah. So to answer, first, yes. So the reality, we did a live with Anna two weeks ago. <laughs> your mic, your mic, Anna. Your microphone, your microphone. No, go ahead, go ahead. I want you to explain exactly what you did. I just want to agree. So yeah, so we did a live with Anna about, yeah, about a week ago, two weeks ago. So we talk about that. Just just, just releasing a, a nice... Uh, pre-review art on the journal strength and conditioning from January 2020. So two, two months and a half ago. And then they talk about that. They do one group did steady exercise 75% of their VO2 max in the treadmill. And the other group did a heat workout, high intensity interval training, three days a week. Both groups trained three days a week. What happened? And then they did that for, I believe, 10 weeks. So close to three months. The guys that did the high intensity interval training, so kind of like all out three days a week, they not that they got sick, but their immune system went down and then they did blood work and then they used white blood cells and etc. So the conclusion was kind of like this. The normal 75% steady state was, was a little bit be beneficial, better for your Im immunity. And then later, I'm going to talk more when we talk about Tabata, because I could have thought Tabata. Okay, so Pimentel. O microfone, Pimentel. Eu também não, não concordo em trabalhar com intensidade alta agora, não. Acho que é trabalhar com intensidade baixa. Como eu falei numa questão anterior, 
é só fazer a manutenção e se, se manter saudável. Se você trabalha com uma intensidade 75% para cima, você já está pensando em performance. Não é um momento de performance para ninguém. O momento agora é manter-se saudável e vivos. Então, Pimentel's opinião é a mesma. Então, se você trabalha com 75% da sua intensidade ou mais, That means you're aiming for performance. And then that's not the point right now. The point right now is stay safe, stay healthy, maintain your gains. You want to maintain that, pass the situation, then we go for it. Tem mais pergunta, Ana? Everton? Teu microfone, Ana. I do have one more question I just sent for you. But I think Everton don't... Everton, tell what is your opinion about... Microfone. Yeah, what I said is don't push hard, and I agree with with uh, Pimentel and Stefan. If you if you don't work in your performance before, it's not time to work now. So think about your healthy. Forget about performance now. So it it it's it's no uh, there is no sense on, on think about increased performance because you have no competition. Quer que eu leia a pergunta? Yes, can you All right. read the, the, the question? Yes. What is better for home gym equipment to keep our cardio up? A rower or a salt bike? Então, a máquina de fazer remada, tá, Pimentel? Ou a bicicleta wear dime? So, Everton, first. Depends. Depends. For me, it depends. Depends which method you're going to work. Both, they are good. If it Like, if you don't know exactly how to use the, the airdyne or the rolling machine, you're not going to have a good performance. So you can use both. So if you have the airdyne, you can have a, a pretty good workout on the airdyne. If you have a rolling machine, you, you can have a pretty good uh, rolling machine workout. So if you have a roll, if you have a treadmill. I want to make sure if you guys have to pick one. Each one is the best. The cardio for or me, the salt buck. You each one have to pick one. Okay, for me, I would like to have the airdyne. You, Pimentel, we want to hear what you want to do. Definitely. Oi, eu? Ana, Ana atravessou com o Pimentel primeiro. <laughs> Se você tiver. Oh, Stephanie, Stephanie, sorry, go, go. Each one is better. Não, não, deixa ele falar, deixa ele falar. Eu tenho minha ideia, yeah. vamos ver que é diferente. Vai, deixa eu ele acho falar. que eu gosto. Cara, se você tivesse que escolher um, eu gosto do, desse Assault Bike, né? Que você faz o movimento, <risos> usa mais braço e perna. Yeah, yeah. Eu acho que eu gosto do. All right, so Pimentel, Pimentel likes the Assault Bike. Ana, Ana, skip the order here that we had, but that's okay. So my idea is the assault bike, so Airdyne. The, back in the days when we started using it was the Airdyne, the assault bike, to be honest, I don't like that much, okay? Why? The assault bike we have here in Iron Religion. Tá, Pimentel? Iron Religion gym? Eu sei, conheço. Yeah. Uh, Igor Rubanov, it's a friend of mine, and he built the gym. The gym is 24 hours in Orlando, big gym. Very nice. I trained some athletes there also. The assault bike, it's kind of like a, a little bit, it's a, a very nice bike. It's built very nice, but you cannot keep a good pace for a long time. It's only good for interval. So it's kind of like, I, I don't know if they built it too strong and then got slowly. So it's kind of like the bike, like, ah. The R9, you can keep a good pace and then you can keep and then go up and down and then you can do interval training. So the R9 for me is the best. So if you want to pick, The rower, I also use the rower a lot. I train this baseball at in uh, Melbourne. And then they don't have a side a south bike there. So they, they have the rower. But then remember, the rower, you work more in your back muscles. But for, for those baseball players, actually very good. Why? Because they use too much the anterior part of the body, the front, but not as much as the back muscles. So the rower make compensate. So you, you end up being good. So it's, you need to know what you're doing. But if you want to buy one, you buy the Airdyne one. Okay, a salt bike would be your second best option, in my opinion. Okay, uh, I think the last question because we have to move this a little bit in Portuguese. 
Some yes. people ask each other. Uh, but <laughs> let me just uh, um, the last one is about when you ask it, just hold on, let me ask him here. Let me got it. Just have here and I just lost. Okay, they say, if you never work out in your life and you decide now because you're home and you want to do it, if you start work out, you think it's possible your system go down and then you can, it's more possible to get the virus. I'm, I'm not sure. Like, man, they condition codes. Let's see. Depends again. Depends. Uh, if you never work out in your life, it's hard. I, 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 I don't like to go in general, you know. If you never work out in your life, it's not time to start something. But at the same time, if you want to move around, if you want to walk around, if you want to, like, if you live in a, an apartment, if you want to, like, uh, go for stairs instead of using the elevator, like, it's something that you can do it. But uh, if you never did any strength training before, I don't think it's a good idea if you don't have a professional guiding you. If you have a professional, it's fine. He will think about the best strategies and he can create the right program for you. And then I don't see any problem, okay? But you have to follow a professional. Uh, if you never uh, did anything, don't start by yourself or following Instagram or YouTube or whatever. So always look for the professional. And again, not only a certified, uh, certified professional. Look for a professional who went to the university, uh, has his background and who knows what he's doing because it's your healthy. Yes, if my advice is this. If you didn't exercise before, you want to do it now, you got to go very slowly, very slowly. You got to go gradually, increase. If you started like, oh, tomorrow I'm going to do this, this insanity. There's a program they sell on online over there. And then I go with this insanity. The name is already insane for me. So don't do that. <laughs> you know, that means it's too much. I had students in the past. Yeah, seriously, they, they, they stopped pay me they say oh no i'm gonna do myself no don't worry go and then they start going to this insanity and they end up getting sick and then they later say coach let me go back to you because you know so it's not like one size fits all you cannot do that you're not you need to individualize that's why when everson said i need to understand you but because we're going to see your 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 body your body fat percentage we're going to try to do your weight your scale uh, and then we're going to like, understand your goals understand your limitation so there's a bunch of stuff involved. So definitely right now, if you didn't exercise, start being more active, but little by little. So if you're in the neighborhood that's calm, you can go outside, try to start walking for a little bit. Ask stay away from people. If you have a stationary bike in your house or anything like a treadmill or something, start being more active. That's, that's good. That's going to help you. And then one of the vice will be every other day. So that means Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, every other day you exercise. Don't go every single day if you didn't do this before, because that's going to be too much. And then you could end up getting sick. Even tell. I think if you've never done it, start now, I think it's never too late to start. But... Como o Everton falou, não adianta pegar Facebook, Instagram e copiar. Primeira coisa, procurar um bom profissional que vai fazer uma anamnese com você, vai conversar com você, vai saber teu perfil e a partir do teu perfil vai montar um programa onde você vai começar gradativo. Você está começando do zero. Está começando do zero? O cara vai começar lá bem gradativo, duas vezes por semana, três vezes por semana, quatro vezes por semana, mas de uma forma que ele vai te conhecer. Não é pegar... E olhar e ah, esse exercício eu achei legal, vou fazer. Yeah. É até um risco. Yeah, if you never exercise, you, you most likely need to hire a, a specialist. So, somebody that knows what they're doing, so they can do it like a, we call it in Brazil, an MNS. So, it's kind of like a, all the assessments, similar to what I said. You do all the assessments to make sure you understand, you understand about you, about your body. And then you're going to be like, individualized program so it's not like just watch a video and then you start doing crazy stuff and then we end up getting hurt in your house so start exercising yes but try to find 
uh, seek for advice, advice of a specialist. Yeah. Ana, acho que mais uma aí, vamos passar para o português? Não, I think, I think we can start in Portuguese. I just want to tie everything for some people who just come in right now. They everything we, we, we talk. And then if I forget something, please, guys, uh, uh, take the microphone and mute and let me know, okay? Uh, your microphone is in mute, uh, Stephanie. Your microphone is, is in mute. Everton, você quer falar do Tabata agora ou do português? Wow, vamos mandar uma falada no Tabata. Tem a última aí, uh, Ana. Last thing about Tabata. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, let's have let's finish one that we tie everything we talk. Okay. <laughs> go, Stephanie. Go, Dr. Stephanie G. Yes. True. Okay, I'm going to start just because I, yes. I, I, put, I put an article here. Just the. Quer falar, Vivi? Toca, toca. No, what I, what I will, uh, uh, I just wanna, I just wanna throw something here, okay? Because, uh, guys, when you turn on the, the, the Instagram lives and YouTube channels or whatever, I've been uh, watching like, let's do Tabata, let's do Tabata, let's do Tabata. Guys, please, if you don't know what is Tabata means, don't, don't talk like, I, I would I would talk something, but like, listen, it's not because you're doing 20 seconds something and rest 10 seconds is Tabata, okay? First, and then be careful because you can get hurt. So let's talk about Tabata. So guys, this is this is a nice topic. Uh, Everton talked to me. Uh, we had another friend, Carlão from Brazil. We did a live and then it's, everybody's talking, oh, Tabata. Tabata for warm up, Tabata for this, Tabata for that. So Tabata, I put here in an article, originating in Japan, 1990s, kind of like 1990 something. 1996, the Japanese, he published this article about Tabata training. There was 20 seconds all out. So they use 100, they would use 170% of your VO2 max, so very intense, all out for 20 seconds, and then they rest for 10 seconds. And then they repeat that for eight times, so eight rounds. So in, in total time, only four minutes. And then they compare to another group that was exercising, I believe 75% of your VO2 max for kind of like, almost like an hour or something. I have the whole article here. If you want, tell me, I send it to you. So, So this is one more time. This we're talking about something that originated, let's say, 20 years ago for somebody that was just trying to do like defectiveness. So there he was not like, oh yeah, this is the best thing in the world. No, this is something like, okay, you don't have time. You want to do something short. So that's something. But the problem is don't do that by yourself because if you do this by yourself, you could get hurt really bad. When you go, imagine I'm talking about the original Tabata. So you go and then you exercise in a bicycle, 170% of your VO2 max. That means all out. Your heart rate is going to go very high. If you're out of shape, you're not going to recover in 10 seconds. No. And then the second all out, you're going to go even more. The third, you're going to go even more. What's going to happen? You could have a heart attack. Okay. So that's the problem of Tabata. So, so old school, not good. And then, and then people think it's cool because in the reality it's a short. And then they say, oh, look, let's do Tabata jumping jacks, Tabata push up, Tabata this, Tabata that. That's a mess, you know, it becomes like, like a cows. So that's my idea. And then we're going to back, I'm going to push the, the question later to Aaron about the warm up Tabata. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pimentel first. Cara, eu acho que aí eu, eu, eu entro no lado ruim da, de todas essas informações e tecnologias que estão hoje na internet. E <risos> falta conhecimento para as pessoas saberem o porquê de cada tipo de, de, de exercícios que são criados. Isso tudo foi uma pesquisa, como você falou, no Japão. O pessoal no Japão do judô usava muito na décadas passadas como treinamento de alta intensidade. Eles intervalavam isso durante... Fazia até mais do que oito séries, porque... Eu, é muito parecido, hoje eu não tenho muito acesso, mas o scout do judô para as categorias mais baixas, categoria, a minha categoria quando eu lutava de 60 quilos, 
a média era 20 segundos de estímulo de luta, 5 a 10 segundos de mate, que era o tempo parado. Okay. Let me, let me, deixa eu traduzir para eles. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so, with me, I'm, I'm going to go even harder because uh, this started like a long time ago for Japan and then and the Japan judo players because uh, Pimentel specialist in, in judo, black belt. So he worked with a lot of judo players. And then in the judo work good and then similar to soccer, they use this because you have, let's say 20 seconds of activity, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of activity, 10 seconds of rest. So that's why Tabata was good for that purpose. Pode continuar. E aí, e as pessoas veem isso, acham legal e quer usar para tudo, mas como eu falei antes, você tem que procurar um bom profissional, fazer uma avaliação da tua pessoa e ele planejar para você de acordo com o que você precisa, do que que você tem, pode fazer. So now now you want to just get like a, like a, a package of Tabata not going to work. You need somebody to individualize. Your training needs to be specific for you. You cannot just get a training and say, I'm going to do this and then copy this, this Japanese guy, this judo player, and then it's going to be good. No. Eu fico falando que, e vocês já passaram por essa situação, eu tenho certeza, treinamento não é receita de bolo. O mesmo, você vai pegar dois atletas da mesma categoria, um você vai treinar de uma maneira, outro de outra, porque um precisa, de repente, mais capacidade resistente, outro precisa mais força, mais potência. Você vai trabalhar de acordo com a necessidade daquela pessoa, mesmo sendo da mesma categoria. Então, não é uma receita de bolo. For strengthening conditioning, there is no, no cookie cutter. You cannot use a cookie cutter for strengthening conditioning. You not use the same recipe for Pimentel, for Anna, for me. No, you got to individualize. So I train one way, Pimentel another way, Anna different. So that's that's the whole the whole point. Everton, talk about the warm-up Tabata. She <laughs> recusa <laughs> so, uh, falar that, disso. That, no, that's what, what we are talking about. You, need, you, you cannot believe in everything you, you, you watch on a, on a social media or, or whatever. Or even certified coaches. The, the, the warm-up Tabata, I heard from a supposed certified coach. He said like, hey guys, today we will start warming up with Tabata. And I said, no, I can't believe I'm, I'm hearing this. So like Stefan said, it's, it's way intense, uh, the workout. So doesn't make any sense. You think about Tabata for warmup, doesn't make any sense. It's not because you're doing, like I said, you're doing something for 20 seconds and resting 30, 20, uh, 10 seconds. That is, is gonna be Tabata. So the warm up was like, inch warm and then shoulder taps. 20 seconds from inch warm and 10 seconds for uh, shoulder taps, whatever. Like, doesn't make any sense, you know, but people are following this and is getting hurt on this. And this is creating a, a, a strange strategy because uh, our, our uh, mission here is trying to 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 give to the to the regular people the best lifestyle we can we can uh, teach them. I have a, a, a pretty good experience with Anna uh, when we used to to be in ATT for Lauderdale. We were uh, working together there, and I have I have in my heart here very good memories with some uh, uh, clients too. there. And, and this is, uh, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, I know what he's gonna grab, it's super special. Listen, and I, and I, I didn't, I didn't was looking for something. It's here with me, do you know? And this is very special for me because I will take with me for forever. Like this client, she lost more than 35 pounds uh, doing three times exercise per week and eating healthy. Her first, her first goal was uh, she she came to us and she said, "I want to go to 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 Disney, to Disney and, yeah. and I need to be prepared to to be uh, uh, walking around the park all day with my son." She wasn't looking to getting to to get fit. She she was looking for 
for general conditioning to be able to, to enjoy the, the Disney with her son. So anyway, we start to work together in, in, in a fitness class. She changed her life. Her husband changed her life. So and it's she, she's she in very good shape. Tell how many pounds she lost and everything. She really changed she, her sweet listen, life. She dropped. Look, I, I have here. Look. She lost uh, over, like, she dropped to 155. She was over 200 pounds. 200 pounds. Okay? Yeah. Listen, look, I don't know if you can see. Yeah. And she made so, this special book for you, né? remember? And she, every time she just still us clients, and she always say how much she miss you. This is, means a lot for me because it's, it's not a, it, it, it's not a, a high performance athlete. Uh, she, she didn't want to become a champion. And honest, the same emotion I, I the, the, the same emotion I have here, I have with Amanda Nunes, which holds two belts in the UFC. So it's something that us as a professional, we can do our best for them in the right way. So please make sure you're gonna follow some professional like us and you can, you can go in a, in, a, in a best way for yourself. It, it's like you need to, we need to respect so many different uh, methods, so, so many different sports strategies to build something for you guys. So it's not simple like just to throw a video on a, a social media and, and just, you know, like this is my, I, 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 was, I was looking to, to show this because this is means a lot. Só dar um ponto, assim, eu gosto de falar isso, você tocou numa coisa muito importante. É, Existem dois tipos de exercícios físicos, né? O caso dela que procurou o exercício físico e um profissional para uma qualidade de vida, né? E o atleta que quer performar, esquece, não é sinônimo de qualidade de vida. Essa uhum. é o que eu passo de diferença básica. O atleta não é sinônimo de qualidade de vida. E o bom profissional vai ajudar porque ele tenha uma vida mais longa mas ele vai se machucar, ele vai estar no limite dele o tempo todo. E a pessoa que só quer fazer por praticar o esporte, procure também um bom profissional para você ter uma qualidade de vida. Que isso é o que... Deixa eu traduzir. Uhum. Okay. Yeah, so, so, what, what Pimentel is saying is that uh, this case of average student, she, she got a coach not to perform not to be like an athlete but to change her lifestyle and then that's very good so she made it all those changes we're all happy about it and but when the athlete sometimes look for our opinion because he wants to perform so there's two two cases one that he wants to change your lifestyle and then just be healthy and live longer one is performance so performance most likely is going to hurt you it's going to make you suffer it's not going to be as good for your health, but our job is to make you as healthy as possible and then make you fight or compete and train a long, long time. That's our job. Anna, vamos para final considerations? Yes. Okay, let's put it, tie everything together we talked today. Of course, I have a couple of questions here we cannot go over and still have next. to stand okay. some Thank of the stories. We, we have to do this next. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for, you know, just amazing friends I have. I'm so lucky in my life. Then they put, God put it, you guys in my life and have opportunity to share this information. I think with a lot of people who is home right now and they need help, uh, uh, I'm sorry for the people we cannot answer these questions. Maybe we can do another time. And of course, now have some people, they ask, oh, let's talk about G's and just bring this, just, they give us some ideas, then we can go just because condition is a lot of things, you know, then it, we have to break in different parts and different things. And then maybe we do this the next time. Uh, but what we talk today, it's a couple of things. Then I want to, if I forgot something, please guys, remember, because sometimes I go too fast. Uh, we're talking about if you, you never work out, the three agree, please don't start faster. Go little by little, a little walk, or maybe don't start, you know, then... Uh, if you already train and I was training with somebody else in some school and now you decide I'll go cancel my membership and I'm going to go YouTube and watch. No, the three agree. Then you guys continue training for support inside a Zoom because they're over there. We have a lot of people who know and the three ones, 
it's a black belt from Jiu Jitsu and how long you take for your black belt in Jiu Jitsu then it's impossible that you go there and watch a video and somebody else show in position it's going to be the same and the third question is the different somebody else going to watch and correct to you then please try avoid all these things you know uh, another thing we're talking about it's just to make sure uh, you guys be eating health now then we we talk about this because if you guys do all this exercise home and in change your routine and know really where you're supposed to be this is not going to be good for yourself and the fourth part we talk it's the martial arts concept don't give up don't give up in your business don't give up in your what you do because a lot of people's lost in the job right now but you have two ways or you do what we're doing Friday nights and work hard, give information, or you sit at home and eating and complain. Just whatever you do it. Remember, we help. With help, we can do everything. I don't know if I forgot something. <laughs> oh, that's it. Very okay. good. Okay. Everton, final considerations. Follow my, my final zipper. Yeah, guys, like uh, like Pimentel and Stefan said, uh, we all agree that if you didn't uh, start yet, be careful trying to, to look for some professional to guide you. And then you can figure out what's the best strategy to start. Uh, if you already do something, also uh, look for a professional. He can create the best strategy to maintain your uh, physical side. Uh, be healthy trying to keep your routine. Uh, don't change that much your routine. Uh, trying to be uh, physical active and mental active. Uh, yeah, this is my consideration, you know. Uh, trying to look for your family, trying to be around your friends, because in this moment we are uh, passing like some difficult moments. So it's time to, to look back and look, look inside and trying to be a better person uh, each day. That's my, my advice. Yeah, my consideration is uh, it's a pleasure to be here in it for putting this together. Good job, my friend. And uh, Everton Pimentel, we have like a lot of years of knowledge here in this room. So it's great to be here with you guys, share knowledge and then learn as well. So like Anna said, if you want to succeed, you got to work hard though. You know, I barely watch a movie because I don't have time. And then I was trying to do stuff and then learn and study and, and then improve, guys. You know, so especially if you guys in the beginning of your career, you got to push hard because if not, you're not going to go anywhere. You know, maybe you go somewhere, but don't be lazy because you could go beyond. So, so push, 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 push. That's the, the, the mentality. Uh, very good to be here. If you knew to exercise, go gradually. Don't go too much. Start little by little. But eventually put that in your life and then you're going to be very happy about it. So you're going to be happy at the end of the day. You're going to, you're going to sleep um, more. You're going to feel relaxed. You're going to get more function. If you have kids, you're going to be able to play with your kids. You're going to have more energy. That's going to be very good for you in the long term. Mentel. É, agradecer aí a presença, foi uma oportunidade boa para conversar, para trocar experiência, trocar ideia. Mano, obrigado. É, espero que estejam todos seguros, salvos. Uma oportunidade boa também, acho que a gente nunca conseguiu ficar tanto tempo com a família junto, né? Essa vida louca que a gente tem, uma coisa legal, assim, tá podendo ficar full time com a família. Espero que todos tenham essa oportunidade de ficar em casa, seguro, saudável, se cuidando e vida que segue. Passar dessa aí para continuar trabalhando duro e dar tudo certo. Very good. So, Anna, thank you, Anna, for putting this together. It was very thank good to you, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Eu tô traduzindo Pimentel, querida. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> She forgot that I'm translating. I didn't have my wine yet. I even don't know, you know? Yeah, that's funny. Okay. One more time. Okay. Thank you, Anna, for putting this together, you know. It's nice to be here with you guys. And then I'm very happy. I'm trying to, to stay here with my family. 
I hope you guys do the same. Enjoy your family once you the house. It's a good opportunity because everybody has busy lives. So we want to stay with your family. Think about your choices, your op your options. So for you to realize your lifestyle. Hey. It was good. And then uh, now, Anna, we're going to transit to Portuguese. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Let's take a picture for I can have here for we can save this moment. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. COVID that can put everybody together like that. You know, let me take a picture. I'm going to tell one, two, three, and everybody smile. Got it. Oh, Pera aí, vou fazer melhor, Ana. Vai lá, dá, todo mundo sorri, eu vou dar um print screen e eu te mando aqui. Vai tá. lá, todo mundo sorri. Pera aí, vou colar aqui e já te mando aí. Pode falar, Ana. Ok, let's finish this. And uh, we don't, we don't, we, us four don't need to close. I will just stop the recording and I start recording in Portuguese, ok? Perfect, perfect. Awesome. Mas já vai, você vai salvar isso, né? Yes. yes. Ah, não vai parar não? Não, é vamos para o português, mas ela abriu outro okay. vídeo em português. Ok, eu tenho que finish this one. I have to finish this one. Oh. Ok? Let me finish this one and then we start over in português to make sure we record this one. Ok, now we good. Now if you guys want to continue in português, I just, uh, eu acho só que a gente tem que fazer o share em outras páginas, entendeu? Vamos. Em português, porque não faz sentido estar na minha academia, entendeu? Deixa eu parar o Wednesday do Life aqui.